No, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit closer. No. Live dangerously. Oh my gosh. Okay, no. I'll yeah, hold you you. Yeah, I'll hold You're you. good. <laughs> this is gonna end. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, Good morning guys, it's Sunday morning. Um, I'm just eating um, and I'm going to then take Daisy to the vet, you know, for <clears throat> for all her weekly stuff that she's gotta do. So I woke up this morning. Uh, it was probably, I wake up fairly early, <laughs> early for me, maybe not for you, but it was like shortly after, it was maybe around like 6.30. And I always wake up around that time because I have to take Daisy out. So I, I take her out and then if I don't have like school or anything to do, I go back to sleep, which really probably isn't the best idea because I always like, I feel like complete trash for the rest of the day. Um, you know, if I go back to sleep, I probably would feel better if I just woke up and like got up and did whatever. But I don't know. I don't really like to be awake at that time for some reason. I don't know. So I went back to sleep maybe for on and off for like two hours. Towards the end of that, you know, when I was finally like waking up to get up and like start my day, I had this dream. You know when you have a weird dream that just like sticks with you? So like all morning since then I've been like, what the hell? Like what just happened? But um, it was a lucid dream. So like I knew I was dreaming and I didn't want to wake up because, and I was fighting waking up because I wanted to see like what was going to happen. It was like watching a movie. Like I know I'm going to be fairly vague about this because it doesn't really matter. But um, it was a dream about somebody that um, I have pretty successfully <laughs> tried not to think about. Like I said, I know that this is very vague, but I don't know who watches these videos and I don't want to like say any names or like anybody out but this is someone you know that I don't I don't have contact with anymore in this lucid dream it was like I wanted to see what was going to happen when I confronted them and I've had other dreams kind of similar to this and I don't know why <clears throat> like this is something that I don't really think about very often like in my conscious mind but apparently it's something that must bother me like really bother me deep down because I I have dreams about it and it was like, basically the situation with this person is, um, we kind of parted ways and decided that we couldn't be friends or couldn't whatever. They gave me like this ultimatum that I did not, I, I couldn't, I thought, first of all, you, you shouldn't be giving people ultimatums that don't deserve it. Like it's not, you know, this person only had themselves really in their mind. And I think had I done what they wanted me to do, I would right now be very unhappy. And this was a couple years ago. Um, I would right now be pretty unhappy. So I'm like glad that I didn't do that. But like something in my mind has always been like, but what if you had like, you know, not ended up doing what you did? <laughs> Like I said, I know this is super vague. If you know me, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know. So I I guess subconsciously or on some conscious level, I don't know, whatever. This must really still bother me. And also what bothers me is that, um, you know, I had, hadn't talked to this person, hadn't thought of them. And then like randomly out of the blue, not too long ago, they they messaged me. I didn't respond because I'm I'm trying to, I'm trying to do my own thing and, live my life happily and I don't want to invite toxicity into my life. <laughs> Basically, so going back to the dream today, in my dream I knew that this person had contacted me, I knew, I like I was very conscious of what was happening, uh, you know, like I said it was a lucid dream so I was like in control of what was happening and I guess because it was a lucid dream it was very, I made it as real as, as if I was sitting here talking to you, like it was clear as day. In this dream, I like confronted this person. I don't, I don't think it was like satisfying what happened. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. That's why, like I was outside, you know, I took Daisy out again after I woke up several hours after I had taken her out the first time, you know? And I'm standing out there and I'm like, what the hell just happened? Why did I just dream this? Why am I thinking about this? I don't know. It was just so strange. And even now, like I was getting ready, I was putting my makeup on, I was like doing my hair and I'm like, what the hell? Why did that happen? And I think what's like kind of upsetting about it is that since I knew I was dreaming and since I could like be in control of it, I don't think I did the right thing in the dream. You know what I mean? Like it's really weird. I have like guilt about what I what I did in this dream. It wasn't anything bad. It wasn't anything like, and it wasn't anything like, you know, it was just like really weird. I think I have a lot of things that I feel like I left unsaid in real life, not in the dream. Um, in real life and that's why maybe I have dreams that I'm confronting this person about like hey you 
did did me wrong essentially i don't know man i don't know do we have any like dream therapists here <laughs> that can help me out with this this is weird man i'm gonna go ahead and eat my oatmeal weird man super weird i don't know not into it not about it not not how i'm trying to live my life right now go through stages with your paintings or your drawings or whatever you do um i guess anything creatively where i think i've talked about this before because it happens like almost with every painting <laughs> but i feel like they go through these weird stages where it makes me question whether or not every single like successful painting or whatever i've done in the past has been just luck they always go through these like weird stages and then suddenly you're looking at it and you're like oh it's okay it's done <laughs> project for art history again still don't quite understand this class and why i'm painting anything for an art history class but okay but this assignment we had to do something from dreams or related to dreams and i recently had a dream that someone's face was getting cut off by um the wire that you use to cut clay so if you know what i'm talking about then you know it's like a pull it tight and cuts through the clay. So I used, you know, my face obviously because I'm the easiest model to get a hold of. And then I just went online and found like cross sections of the human uh, head. So I'm working on that. That's not due until next week, actually a week from today. I like having this little setup outside because I don't know, it's so nice to have like natural lighting and then the kids are out here and the sun too. Do you like it? Is it fun? Is it fun? Is it fun? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I actually, well, first of all, before I say anything, I know it looks like my eyes are like super crusty. It's actually, I don't know, it, I had it and then it went away for a while, now it's back. I had like, I don't know if it's an allergic reaction to something or, you know, it feels like, hey, hey, you don't need to eat anything in the garbage right now. But yeah, it feels like like my eyes are really tired, like they burn. And then the, the skin around here is all flaky. And that's why it looks all crusty and it's all like red. And it feels like a cut, like it feels like I have paper cuts like right here at the corners of my eyes. It's like sometimes in the inner corners too, I don't know. But anyway, um, actually I like that I can paint things from my art history class or like do whatever because one, I don't have to write anything, which is good because my writing is like really bad, obviously in Chinese and I don't understand majority of what's going on anyway. And like on top of that, I'm actually um, at the beginning of next semester. So probably like September, um, our class is having an exhibition and everyone has to have 10 pieces. I can use um, my little peep painting that I did for the first project. Since then, there was the Andy Warhol one, which I wouldn't use because it's not really my own style. It's not really, you know, my thing. If this turns out good, this, you know, this can go in. So that's, you know, two paintings there. Then I have at least two, well, at least one so far in class. So that's three. And then, you know, I have other ones, obviously, that I could use. And then I have the whole rest of the semester and the summer to make um, the other ones. But it's good because they kind of do like double duty then and they're also like guidelines are so broad that I can kind of like 
finagle it to be whatever I want it to be. So like I feel kind of restricted with the last one. For this one, I'll just make it about dreams like that. It's so, so broad that I could do anything I wanted and you know, just slap the label like, oh, this is like related to dreams in this way. So that's good. It, it like leaves it open and it leaves it so that I can manipulate it to be something that I would want to, you know, either show or display or whatever. So yeah, I'm just gonna work on this. I don't have class today. So that's good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just enjoying this natural light and this nice weather. Feels good, you know? Feels good to like be painting things that I want to in styles that I want to and using materials that I want to. It's good. <laughs> forgot to show you guys the finished product yesterday. Close. Can you tell it's me? And here's where we are with this. I'm adding fish now. Her face looks like on camera. I noticed like when I'm trying to take pictures and video, her face looks like super bloated. I guess it's the way that like the shadows are catching. It looks like she's like, I don't know. But in person it looks fine, but I don't like the way that it looks on camera and I don't quite know why. Mm -hmm. 